guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is abiola and in today's tutorial we will be making a requested video a lovely subscriber sent me an instagram dm that she would like me to recreate this dress that you have on the screen this is not a dress i would normally recreate for myself because it doesn't really flatter my body type but i decided to just do it. so let's go straight into the video of today so let's begin with me here is a small piece of fabric basically a leftover fabric but it will be enough to cut out what we need to cut it is about five inches in length and it's actually very long in weight so now we're going to go ahead to fold this and how are we going to fold this i'm going to go ahead and divide my bust circumference which is 38 by four inches and that's going to give me 9.5 then i'll add one inch seam allowance to that 9.5 to give me 10.5 that is how like that is what we are going to use to place this fabric on fold so guys i'll go ahead now to try to place my fabric on fold and i will try to measure to ensure that i have 10.5 inches at that point like i said i'm trying to get 10.5 inches on fold so i adjusted until i got what i wanted if you guys have watched any of my off shoulder tutorials you would know i like to start my off shoulder from the six inch point and guys what we're about to cut out now is the band that we are going to attach our gathers to okay so and the band for me i want my band to be two inches wide okay so i'll go ahead to mark my one inch starting line because we will need to you know add allowance at that top so i'm going to mark that one inch starting line and i'll roll that into a straight line like i said i like to start my off shoulder from the six inch point so i'm going to place that six inch under my one inch starting line okay then the next thing i'm going to mark is my armhole line and how do you calculate your armhole line you calculate your armhole line by dividing your bust by six plus 1.5 inches mine is approximately eight inches so i will go ahead to mark eight inches and coincidentally i told you guys the width of the band i'm working with is two inches remember i started my off shoulder from six inches and my armhole is eight eight minus six gives two that implies that the width of that band is two inches at this point i'm sure some persons might be wondering what if my armhole is more than eight inches what do i do and i also want my band to be two inches in weight what do i do can i still make this dress the answer is a capital yes you can and i explained that part when i have finished cutting out my gather so you have to be calm as i also explained that in this video now let's proceed the next step is to divide your shoulder width by 2 inches. My shoulder width is 15 inches. 15 divided by 2 gives me 7.5. But we are not going to mark that 7.5. We are going to subtract 2 inches from that 7.5. And I'm going to go ahead to mark 5.5 inches. Because if we mark 7.5, this off shoulder will be too big. You can also subtract 1.5. But whenever I subtract 2 inches, I get the perfect fit. I don't have to adjust anything. I don't have to hold my neckline. I don't have to be like... Oh, Oh, this is too big do you get so i subtracted two inches from that 7.5 and i got 5.5 that is what i marked the next step is to go ahead and divide your bust circumference by four my bust is 38 38 divided by four is 9.5 and that is what i went ahead to mark at that point now i'll go ahead to connect from my shoulder line to my armhole line okay that's from that 5.5 point to that 9.5 point and i'll use a straight ruler also if you don't want this to be a straight line you can also use your curve driller to make it into a curve i later went with the curve because mm, i actually wanted the armhole area of this dress to be kind of curvy and not straight because i'm not adding any sleeves um you understand so i decided to use a curve so you can connect it using either the straight line or the curve they both they will both look good okay there's no difference it's just my preference so i went ahead to add one inch seam allowance you can decide to add 0 0.5 1.5 2 depending on what you want but i'm going to be going with one inch for this video because we would like to maintain our two inch band without removing any allowance when we decide to turn the neckline or add our gathers i'll go ahead to add 0 0.5 inch allowance at the top and 0 0.5 inch allowance below okay so i just finished adding my 0 0.5 inch allowance 
other ones at the top and i'll go ahead to connect the lines now i'll go to the end that's below and also add my 0.5 inch allowance and i'll proceed to connect the points together after connecting the points together like i said i'll proceed to cut out and like i told you guys i'm going to be working with the curved armhole not the straight armhole today you can use any one you want okay so um yeah here is what i have after cutting out okay so our band is ready the next step is to cut out a facing for the off shoulder and this facing is something we'll use later on in this video the facing is to be one inches longer than this normal fabric that we have this normal band that we have and it's supposed to be on fold as well so watch closely the way i placed it on the fabric and i'll go ahead to cut out every other thing like trace out every other thing i have if you notice the facing is one inch longer than the band we had cut out previously okay so i'm just extending the lines that i have on the band so that when i am joining it to the gathers or joining it to the facing i will just maintain my 0.5 inch allowance so that my band remains two inches and it remains straight okay as you guys can see the facing is one inch longer than the main fabric the next step is to go ahead to cut our front gathers and this is the calculation you need to know the width of your gathers first things divide your burst by two because you know we're cutting two gathers one for the front one for the back that is why we are dividing by two after dividing by two the next calculation depends on how wide you want your gathers to be okay for me i want my gathers to be times three of um half of my bust measurement so um 19 times three gives me 57 and what i have on that fabric is 57 inches now let us go ahead to cut out the length of gathers we need for our dress for me i want this dress to be a short dress okay um and if you remember guys we started our off shoulder from the six inch point then we went ahead to cut out our band two inch band which implies that the width of our band is um stopping at eight inches so that implies that when we want to take our length we'll have to start from that eight inch point as you can see where i'm beginning to take my length is from eight inches as you can see on the fabric so uh, my length is 35 inches you may be wondering how did you arrive at 35 inches the original length of my dress is 33.5 and the hemming allowance i'll be using to hem the base of this dress is one inch plus 0.5 inch allowance at the top that i'll be using to join the gathers to the band that i have already cut out so that implies that i arrived at 35 inches which i will go ahead to rule out at this point Point, then cut off because Ankara fabric is one of the fabrics that is very easy to shred without it you know going off course I'll just go ahead to you know shred it okay so this is what I'm going to be working with as the length for my dress now let us proceed to also cut out the gathers we need for the back the the width of those gathers is going to remain the same as the back which is that 57 inches we calculated before but there's something we're going to do for the back which will make it different from that of the front okay please endeavor to pay rapt attention at this point okay so i'm going to flip my fabric to the wrong side so that we can see the markings properly the back is going to have elastic okay Okay. so the first thing we're going to do for the back part is to create a casing for our one inch elastic i'll be using a one inch elastic at the back to create that casing the first thing i am going to mark is 0.5 inch allowance at the top and i'm going to mark it from beginning to the end of my 57 inch fabric weight After marking 0.5 inch from beginning to the end, the next step is to mark our 1 inch which denotes the 1 inch we are leaving for the elastic and the 1 inch space we are leaving for the elastic. So go ahead and mark 1 inch from beginning to the end as well. Okay. 
after that that implies that we have already created a channel for our elastic i will explain how this is to be stitched and you would understand and appreciate better what we just did now i'm going to start my length from the eight inch point which is this point that i'm placing it on and the length of this back is 34.5 inches so i'll go ahead now to cut it out like i did before you may be wondering how did you arrive at that length how can the length of your front be 35 inches while the length of the back is 34.5 very very simple um the, my original dress length is 33.5 inches and the hemming allowance I'll, i'm making use of is one inch which gives me 34.5 inches the only reason why the front was longer than the back by 0.5 inch is because for the front we added an extra 0.5 inch that we'll use to join the gathers to the band but this one we're not joining it to any band so there's no need for that that is why we cut out 34.5 inches now i want to take you through the process of creating your one inch um, elastic channel okay now here's what you're going to do you're going to fold a half inch the way you see me doing then fold the one inch area can you see then fold the one inch area and you will proceed to stitch on that um at the end towards the edge that is where you're going to stitch towards but to make it easier you can go ahead to mark one inch so that you you know stitch at the correct area and create the perfect one inch space for your one inch elastic so you fold the 0.5 inch then fold your one inch then use the markings you know to you know correct or to correctly stitch what you're supposed to stitch you're stitching at the edge like this to the end that's what you're going to do and when you stitch like that to the end that implies that you have created a channel for your one inch elastic so when you go ahead to pass in that elastic it fits very very well like a glove okay so um having shown you that let's move on to the next step before we move on to the next step i'll just go ahead to mark my one inch from beginning to the end so that when i go to my sewing machine it makes it easy for me to stitch accurately at this point i want to explain what you need to do when your armhole is longer than eight inches or when it is greater than eight inches first things first place your fabric on fold when i say place your fabric on fold i mean your front gathers that you have already cut out after folding your fabric into two go ahead to fold your band into two as well like place it on fold then place Place the band towards the end like this can you see the next step is to go ahead and place your gathers over the 0.5 inches on your band so that it does not affect any of your measurement okay then the next step is to place your tape my tape is currently placed wrongly that six inch point should come after that allowance so you place your six inches after that allowance and now let's say my armhole is nine inches so i'm going to mark nine inches as my armhole remember your six inches should be touch should be after your allowance okay so now i'm going to go ahead to mark my nine inches and connect that into a straight line after i have gone ahead to connect that into a straight line i'll go ahead to divide my bust by four 38 divided by four is 9.5 just like we did before and now I'll connect from that 5.5 to that 9.5 that's how you do it when your armhole is bigger than eight inches then i'll add my one inch seam allowance as before then go ahead to cut with my scissors but i can't cut this because this does not match my armhole at all okay so now the next step is to go ahead and gather this fabric now the next step is for me to go ahead and gather this fabric and join it to the band note that if your armhole is greater than eight inches you still follow the same step but you ensure that the armholes match when you join um the band to the gathers the next step now is to go ahead to gather my front gathers and as usual i'm going to be using my needle and thread to gather okay so what i'll just do is to place it in this manner first off i won't be gathering my one inch allowance i'll mark that one inch allowance so that once i'm gathering i'm gathering after that one inch allowance and towards the end as well i would also not gather that one inch allowance i would mark it out so that i can gather and stop at that point okay okay since there's no point gathering that part since it's the allowance now i'm going to go ahead to use my needle and thread to form my gathers i'll just be placing them as if i'm sewing but this time around just a basting stitch okay a very loose stitch i'll do that till i get to the end please use any method of your choice to form your gathers but this is my most preferred method now i'm going to go ahead to join my already made gathers to the band 
and we're going to use the 0.5 inch allowance that we added to the boot of them if you remember on the band we added 0.5 inch seam allowance and if you remember on the gathers as well we also added 0.5 inch um allowance as well so, so now i'll place the bun and the gathers right sides facing each other and i'll adjust the gathers until i'm able to pin it properly so i'll go ahead to pin the band to the gathers okay so that when i go to my sewing machine to stitch them together it's going to be a seamless process okay so i'll keep adjusting the gathers until it matches with the band whilst also ensuring that i pin them properly so once i'm done with this process i'm going to head over to my sewing machine to join them together now let's go ahead to work on our straps okay this strap is two inches in width okay and 22 inches in length same thing with the other one 22 inches in length and two inches in width we will not be using the whole 22 inches that we cut out but you just need to cut out as long as possible so that um you adjust it to your taste later now to stitch this straps you're going to fold it into two and stitch using about 0 0.25 to 0 0.3 allowance don't use up to 0 0.5 because it's be hard for you to turn this just use about 0 0.3 inches allowance to stitch it down from beginning to the end do the same thing for the second strap as well so guys i have gone ahead to create my one inch channel for my elastic and you may be wondering what is the length of your elastic and how did you determine that length i determined the length of the elastic i'll be working with by dividing my bust by 2 38 divided by 2 is 19 inches 19 minus 5 inches gives me 14 inches so the length of this elastic you're looking at is 14 inches i'm going to go ahead to use my safety pin to pass in my elastic After passing in my elastic, I used pins to secure the ends. I will go to my sewing machine and stitch towards that end to hold my elastic in place so that it doesn't go in. Okay. Now I have gone ahead to work on my straps. I used broomsticks to flip the strap um to the front side i'm just showing you guys in case you don't have anything to use to turn your straps okay um you can use broomstick to do this one after flipping my straps to the right side i'm just going to go ahead now to iron them okay now here is the front i've gone ahead to attach my gathers see what it looks like it's looking really good already and now we're going to put our facing that we cut out at the beginning of this tutorial i'll go ahead to use my pins to hold the facing in place Now, and that's one thing we're going to do when we go to our sewing machine. We're going to hem the base of this facing using very little allowance. Can you see how I'm hemming it? Okay, so that to hide all the raw edges, so we need to hem the base of this facing so that on the insides it looks really, really neat and clean. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead now to stitch the um, facing to the band using 0.5 inch seam allowance and i'll also hem the facing just like i'm showing you at this point before we go to stitch that 0.5 inch seam allowance we have to put our straps so i'll quickly iron my straps like i told you guys and go ahead to put the straps so i'm going to go ahead to pin my straps 0.5 inches before the end okay that's where i'm going to pin the strap after pinning this one i'll go ahead to pin the second one 0.5 inch before the end as well and i'll pin it as well so i'll head over to my sewing machine and do all i've told you guys now let's keep that aside and work on our pocket fold a piece of fabric just like i have shown you okay place your hand on the fabric like you see me doing then go ahead to use your scissors to cut round your hand whilst ensuring that you add enough allowance round your hand so that your hand can you know enter this pocket properly now you determine how wide you want your pocket to be i want mine to be seven inches i marked that then i proceeded to use my scissors to cut to meet that point so this is basically our pocket this is two that we've cut out we need four pieces 
pieces so i'll fold the piece of fabric again and cut out the remaining two pieces that we would need okay Now let's proceed to attach the pocket to the front gathers and the back gathers. What you do is to bring your tape measure then place that 8 inch point at the top of the gathers and to mark where your um, pocket will start from, you mark your waist measurement. My waist is 16.5. Then come down two inches after your waist measurement, which is um, 18.5. Okay. So we'll go ahead now to attach the first part of the pocket. Okay. So we'll place it at that 18.5 point, and I'll use my clips to hold them down. Okay. So when I go to my sewing machine, it's easy to stitch. I'll stitch using 0.5 inch seam allowance and I will also go ahead to top stitch. You need to always top stitch towards the pocket when you are top stitching. I'll go ahead to do the same thing on the second side. I would put my tape at the 8 inch point then I will mark my waist. My waist is 16.5 inches. After marking the waistline, I will proceed to go down 2 inches from the waistline which is 18.5 Then I will place my pocket at that point. Okay, so um, I would also do the same thing. Make sure you find the matching part. Okay, then I will use my clips to also hold it down and I will go ahead to stitch um, using 0.5 inch seam allowance here is a visual representation of how you will go about your top stitching after stitching using 0.5 inch seam allowance you flip to the other side that's when you're done stitching then you go ahead to stitch at this point very close to the edge that's how you top stitch towards the pocket side okay it's very very easy nothing complicated guys i have gone ahead to stitch this um facing to the band like i told you guys earlier using 0.5 inch seam allowance here is how it looks you can decide to go ahead to reduce the allowance and also notch but because the sankara is very soft it's not going to make any difference so you'll be weaving that um insides later on so i'm going to go ahead to flip it over so you see what it looks like at the front area so here is how it looks in front i will go ahead now to put the pocket for the front part and we'll put our um, tape at the 8 inch point as well and measure our waist measurement my waist is 16.5 2 inches after my waist is 18.5 that is where I'll be placing the pocket so I'll go ahead now to also use my clips to hold those pockets in place you can also use your pins to hold them down as well okay so the next thing I'm going to do is to also place the pocket at the other end the same way I did it the last three times so just follow the same procedure okay so guys I have gone ahead to attach my pocket Pockets like I had explained I have also gone ahead to top stitch like I told you guys hence why the pocket is laying the way it is laying okay let me show you um, the front side as well here is what the, it looks like and the pockets have been attached as well okay and here is how the top stitching looks like guys can you see the yellow line the small yellow line by the side can you see that's what I mean by top stitching on your pocket and if you notice the allowance is towards the side that's why i said ensure you top stitch towards the pocket okay so um now it's time to join the front part to the back part place the front and back part of the dress right sides facing each other just like you see me doing then go ahead to use your clips or your pins to hold them together from beginning to the end if you made your um, calculations right or if you measured right you'll notice that your pockets are matching your pockets need to match that is why i made sure we did all those measurements and i made sure i showed it on camera so ensure your pockets are matching go ahead to use your pins or your clips to hold them in place now guys here is how you are going to stitch when you head over to your sewing machine you're going to stitch by starting from the top remember the allowance i added is one inch so i'm going to go ahead to hold my one inch then go in using 0.5 inch one inch from there to this point then i'll go ahead to use 0.5 inch to stitch around my pocket area then i'll come out like this with one inch again then continue to the end okay 
let me use my chalk to just do a small illustration like i'm stitching using one inch from the top as soon as i'm getting towards the pocket area i'll go in by 0.5 inch and i'll do that around and also come out using you know um one inch okay so guys i've gone ahead to join like i explained just now so the next step is to show you guys how i did the straps guys for you to attach your strap you need to wear this dress and guys you need to know where how how open you want your back to be that's why i said you can cut your strap as long as you want at the beginning of the video i showed you guys how at some point i wanted the strap to be low and at some point i adjusted it back to be a, a to be more covered at the back okay for this one this is the more covered version okay for the lower version i used about 20.5 inches in length of the strap but for this version what i used is about 15 inches so i wore the dress and i tried my best to align the straps where i wanted it to be i'm talking about the more covered version right now just wear the dress because it's it has elastic at the back you can pull it to go as low as you want so once your strap is very long you can pull this to go as long or as low as you want it to be so guys i'm going to go ahead now to attach my straps you have to attach the straps on the inside okay and you fold the edge just to hide the raw edges before you attach the straps okay so um once you are done with that then um you can go to your sewing machine and just stitch at the point i'm showing you the next step after that is to hem the base of the dress i'll go ahead now to also hem the base of the dress just the way i'm showing you then i'll use my hemming gum to iron you know that facing to the band so that that place looks really neat okay I have also gone ahead to hem the base of the dress and here is what i have everything is looking like it should and with this we have come to the end of this video i'll see you guys in my next tutorial guys i know i have not uploaded the sewing version of the last video and that's what i'm going to upload next bye